Hey everyone, Josh here from Fresh Start Customs, and today we're going to be going over um, woodpeckers from Amazon here. This is going to be the wood that they ship. It is an eighth inch Baltic birch sheet. Um, so I'm going to try this once to try to get away from using the maple um, proof grade material just to see if I can make like a cheaper stands here. Uh, so let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to unbox this. We'll see what it looks like and then I'm going to make some stands. I'll show you how it turns out and we'll see how good this stuff really is. So I'm going to open this up really quick and we'll see how well this stuff works out. There we go. So uh, on first opening, it looks pretty decent. Um, as you can see, there is some of this little wood coloring grain here on that sheet and then there's some right there there's like a little knot there so it's not going to be dead perfect all the way around um, it looks like there may be just a very mild warp but nothing uh, the hold down pins aren't going to work there for it so overall this looks pretty pretty clean uh, especially this third sheet down most of this looks pretty clean it's going to work great for stands that's what I'm going to be using them for um, I've got a new project here for sign language um, letters here so that's what I'm going to be using the stands for but yeah I'm just going through this really quick to see if any of these are really bad um, obviously there's some lines so engraving might not be as well um, depending on where you hit the boards at um, but overall this looks pretty nice compared to some of the other types of 1 8 inch uh, wood that I've seen in the past that was non-proof grade so this is a really nice sheet here so yeah pretty much uh, it looks pretty through and through I'm not gonna bore you and go through every single one so let's go ahead and make those stands I'll show you how it turns out and we'll see you then All right, you guys, so this is what it turned out to be. Um, this was just that top sheet. It has a little bit of a warp, as you can see. I push it here, and it flips up here. Um, so all I did was use hold down pins, and then for the settings to cut it out, all I did was I used the uh, medium maple plywood proof grade settings. I just acted like it was uh, the plywood there from Glowforge. It cut out really nice, barely any burn marks on the front here. Um, of course, there's going to be some flashback on the back, as you can see those little speckles there. Um, that's going to be just from your metal grate. That's going to be on proof grade material or any material that you use. So I masked both sides just like proof grade material is. That way I didn't have flashback on either side here. But uh, this is essentially the stand that I made that I'm going to be using for my... Uh, Sign language uh, signs that I'm going to be making, I've got, if you want to see what that looks like, essentially what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be making like these in the stand. So I already have this one in the stand here. Um, and then it's going to spell out the word hope, the, the one that I'm going to be doing, but I have the entire alphabet that I'm going to be making and having the file in my Etsy shop. So if you want that and you want to support the channel, I do have that in my Etsy shop. Otherwise, that I just wanted to show you guys what I was using these stands for and what I was making. So um, the actual sign here is made out of proof grade material. And then just to save some money, I made this birch stand. So that's what I was doing with the birch here. So overall, that, that snapped together quite well. There is a very slight difference on the tightness. Um, I was able to get it started by hand and then I had to finish it up with the uh, rubber tip hammer to put it all together uh, where you need the rubber tip hammer right from the start with proof grade um, but it is strong enough that I'm not going to be able to pull this apart I'm pulling pretty hard um, if anything I would crack the piece before it falls apart so this this actually snaps together really well I do recommend it um, these are just pieces to this to assemble the stand um, I still have the masking on so you can see what it looks like when it comes right out of this piece here. Um, so the masking tape's on. The masking tape, the medium tack, is um, not as as tight on this as proof grade material. 
as you can see you can kind of just roll your finger over it and then it'll come off which can be a good thing and a bad thing uh, the good thing is is I mean it's super easy to get off um, so you don't have to use any like duct tape or get your fingernail and peel in there but the bad thing is is if you don't um, do that trick that I told you before to kind of activate the uh, adhesive where you you put your masking tape on and then you use these grooves right here to push it down real tight if you don't do that you do run the risk uh, a higher risk on this kind of material of it coming up mid like let's say that comes up mid engrave there then you might have like a smoke trail here but nowhere else on the piece and then you're gonna have to use like rubbing alcohol to get that off so that's a risk that you run when you do that um, but like I said I, I activate mine uh, that's what that's just the term that I use that might not be the correct term but I just roll those um, actual hard side of the squeegee over top and that kind of activates that glue in there I feel like and I've never had tape roll up off of there even with medium tack so um, as you can see right here there's nothing rolled up here so those are just a couple tips that I would suggest um, overall this is a pretty good material um, I think I'm gonna actually do a couple videos on different types of material what I rate them um, I'm not gonna rate this one yet because I haven't engraved on it because I want to be able to engrave um, cut score that way I can give you a proper rating on all the different material types. So look out for those videos. I'm going to be doing those sometime soon. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and enjoyed um, this type of material. I would recommend it for sure. And um, I think it comes out to like a little under $2 a sheet if you do like the $30 package. Or if you do the $60 package then it's almost like a dollar quarter a sheet. So it's super cheap, 12 by 12 is the size that it gets, so it's not gonna be a full Glowforge size. Um, and I'll put the links down in the description below if you want to check that out and get your own. Um, but yeah, I definitely recommend it for stands for right now. And then I'll get back to you guys on engraving and I'll do the rating videos on different materials, like I said. So uh, I hope this video was cool. I know it was a little out there, but we'll catch you guys next time and we'll see you in the next video.